What I'm doing here is actually melting threaded inserts into the 3D print. So this is the main electronics that you're gonna need for this project and yeah it's a bit expensive but that's what you need if you want to build a levitating plant pot. What I did was actually replace the stock cable that came with the electronics and I switched it out to a fabric cable. Seriously though guys, don't dismantle your power supply. Even if it's unplugged, um, the capacitors can actually still be charged for an insanely long time and it can kill you. So keep your hands off it. I really like how this step turned out because you can actually just buy vinyl wrapping and then cover your 3D prints in it. So now I'm taking some silicone and just smearing it around the inside because I want it to be water sealed from the inside. The problem is that normally if you just 3D print something it slowly leaks water so if you would have uh, put a plant in there and then watered it uh, the water would slowly creep out from the bottom. The reason why I 3D printed this piece was actually to make it a bit modular so this way you can just switch out the plant pot by simply putting on another one if you want to change it. And that's already it, we're done. So now you can check if it actually works. And it can be super tricky to get the magnet right above the coils, but with a bit of practice it works. The type of magnet that I bought can hold half a kilo, so yeah, 500 grams. That's quite a lot. You can do a lot with that. <laughs> 